Hi, my friends. How are you? It's Trisha. Wow, that's some crazy hair. I feel like if I were only as smart as Einstein. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, I am down in my happy place, and I thought, why not just record and show you guys the bear barn quilt. So, um, I had a woman come over today, and she wanted some help with some swatches and 3 d um, a piece. And so I thought I would, um, continue on with what I had been showing her. So in my town, there is a college or university called Lenore Ryan University, and, um, their mascot is the bear and it's done, uh, it's a red bear with black. Hey Dale. So, um, say hi to Molly for me. All right. So, um, I thought I would just continue on with this. So the secret to whenever you're doing a geometric animal like this, okay, is if you're wanting to do, let me just show you here. Let me see if I can turn it. Okay. If you're wanting to do like blues or whatever you're doing, find a, um, just go ahead and lay out a family of blues, like three different types of blues or four different types of blues. Okay. And what that will do is it'll allow you to have some shadowing going on or eye dimension, if you will. Okay. So here I found through, um, Hobby Lobby, I don't know if they make it anymore, but I know they have metallic paint. So I have a red metallic paint that I'm integrating. I also have True red, which is one of my favorite colors, okay? I have wine, and I also have rust. The wine and the rust are so similar that um, I, I'm not sure about which one I've been using, to be quite honest with you. Um, I also decided to go ahead and try a couple of squares in this coffee bean color. I'm not sure how it's going to be, but I figured you might as well have some fun with me and just kind of watch me play a little bit. So I have a little cheap palette right here. Um, and I am going to go ahead and put in some of these blocks the metallic red, and I'm actually going to shoot a message to my girlfriend and tell her that I found a metallic red that she might really love. I'm loving the look of this metallic red. It's just kind of cool. And so I have a fine brush. Okay, and this is from Fine Touch. So this is from Hobby Lobby. You can get a Michaels, wherever, Amazon, if you... If you shop on Amazon, you can um, go to gofindyourhappyshop.com and you can shop for anything on Amazon and I get a small affiliate commission by recommending Amazon. Nothing major, but I have to disclose that. Um, so there's the metallic red and I really, really love the metallic red a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and, so what I do is I choose one color and then I say, okay, let me go ahead and tackle this geometric etch. And I go ahead and just kind of strategically put it in different places. So I've got one here, one here, and just to kind of balance it out, I'm gonna put one down here. And this is the metallic red. And the thing is, is let's say you, you put the paint down and you're like, oh, I really, really don't like that, Trish. What you can do is you let it dry and then just paint over it. It's so not a big deal to paint over it. Now, while I'm painting here with you, I wanted to let you guys know that I am taking um, private appointments. So as you can see right here, there's the chair where I did, and um, here's all my background. So pretty. And um, I can take 
um, private appointments. So if you're wanting to learn how to do a barn quilt, or perhaps you would love to learn how to um, decoupage things and bring nature in, this is an example. This is a mixed media piece, but that's real leaves. Perhaps you want to learn how to do mixed media with um, certain types of um, coloring pages, then I can teach you techniques on how to do this, and we can do a one-on-one -on -one teaching session. So I wanted to let you know that I'm integrating in one-on-one -on -one private sessions. And if it's alcohol ink, if it's decoupage, if it's collage, if it's um, a small furniture um, rehab where you're wanting to um, do something and rehab a piece of furniture and you're not sure what type of paint or ceiling or whatever to do, you can come down and I can teach you um, here at the studio. You don't have to bring the whole piece of furniture with you. You can just... Um, maybe bring the drawer or the top or whatever. Okay, let me concentrate here for just a minute. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a brown and just see if I like it. Um, and then I'll also be gearing up for some classes. But what I'm, okay, so I wasn't really planning on telling the whole world, but I might as well just tell the whole world. So, anyways, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. And if you don't know what fibromyalgia is, it's a neurological condition that actually impacts the muscles. So the muscles get very sore, and the muscles can also get sore around the joints. So things that are just like simple touching, Got paint on my hands there. Touching can be sore in certain areas. So today, my left knee and my left ankle are having a hard time. And so what I'm having to do is use a cane, not a cane, a walking stick. <laughs> I'm going to be painting my own walking stick again. And um, to navigate. So the big paint parties with a lot of people, and if I were to set up all of that, right now while I'm in um, doctor appointments and basically getting my regimen of life to feel great, okay? Um, I don't wanna overtax my body by planning a whole paint party and setting up the big boards and lifting a lot, okay? So um, my husband's gonna help me on clearing out my patio. I have actually a 20 foot deck that's situated underneath the trees. Sorry, I'm getting myself organized there. And so I can have up to three, three people in a session with me where we could do a barn quilt painting. So um, if you watch this video after the go live, please say that you're watching it as a replay. So that way I know if my videos are being watched or if I'm just videoing to myself. <laughs> It helps me know if it's if these videos are worthwhile to you. I'm gonna take back this metallic red and put this here. Um, so I would love to hear if it excites you in knowing that you can come out, be in nature, under the trees, hear the birds, which by the way, they're very quiet right now. Um, and do a paint party with me. Or if you want to do an art workshop where you learn some more advanced things. So for example, like this right here is a, um, an angel and I took off the sides and we did, aren't those beautiful? So I can teach a lot of things to y'all and we can either do them one-on-one -on -one or I can say, hey, I'm teaching an alcohol ink on dishware. If anyone, you know, and then say there's only a limit for two spots. 
and just two or three of y'all will come at one time and I'll supply all the tools. And you will walk away with your pro, you know, what you're, what you're wanting to create. And then on top of it, you'll walk away with knowing how to create them at your home going forward, which I think is just really awesome because usually like paint parties are just traced in and then you kind of go and you go, okay, now I need to do another one that's traced in. Where I actually love, excuse me, I gotta stretch my leg out here. Um, I love equipping you. I love teaching you how to do things at home, um, in your backyard or whatever. Um, because then I feel like, wow, okay, not only am I, they're paying for one session. They're paying for something that they can use for so many years. So it ends up being like, you know, nothing, you know. And if you want to do one-on-one, -on -one, you get my undivided attention. And really between the three people together versus one-on-one -on -one might be a $10 difference. I mean, I'm going to keep this. I, it's not about the money. It's just about me being able to provide for my family and help me during my medical issue situation. So anyways, in this um, bear, I really do like the, the brown mixed in because it's not, um, the red is not then so overbearing and it kind of breaks up the reds. And this is like an espresso brown If you were using Anita's craft paint, I would recommend Woodsy Smoke color. Yes, I really like the brown integrated in with these reds a lot. I think somewhere in my cottage, well, I know somewhere in my cottage, I have like an espresso bean that's metallic because I used it on the geometric horse and it was so beautiful. So um, I need to find it. I just didn't feel like, like doing a deep dive for it. So I may actually go over these brown areas with the, ex like the espresso bean metallic. Another color that would be really cool, like if you wanted to do like reds or whatever, um, and break it up. You could also do a, like a shimmer, a metallic um, copper, which would be really cool as well. Um, so if you have, if you love bears and you wanna do something for the mountains, then do a series of browns and tans and ivories, okay? Um, if, or a series of like blues, not the bright, bright, uh, well, I mean, if you want to do bright blues, then do a whole, f do, be intentional about it, right? Um, so maybe you have two bright colors with two lighter colors to just break it up so it's not all like, boom, one color. Um, I'm going to do this metallic red, I think right here, since that's a dominant, dominant block right here. And once I do the blue in the, I want to do a blue in the background. I, I really just like my blues. So I'm going to do a blue in the background, but once I do that and I, and I feel like one of my triangles is off in my bear. Um, I'll just paint over it and I'll tweak it. You know, you, you don't have to be married to, oh, I messed the whole thing up. No, just let it dry. It's, it's totally cool. Just, you know, let it lay, as we would say. Oh, that rhymed. Didn't mean to have that rhyme. So I am going to take in a little bit more of this brown. And this is a garden flag. So what's cool is the design is on the front and then we have a design on the back. 
So you get to two different designs, two different color themes, and then they would just swing. Or you could keep the colors the same. What's also nice about this is there's a nice space if you wanted to put your family name or you wanted to put your house number, right? I could put underneath the bear here, 2810. Really awesome. So these are great throughout the year to give as Christmas gifts. If So you wanna look on gofindyourhappy.com and see the geometric patterns that I've put up so far. Um, I've been wanting to put up more. I just um, actually put up, um, I haven't put it on the website yet, but a flamingo and a dolphin. And I can't wait to do the dolphin. Dolphin is my favorite animal next to horse. My two, my two animals that just connect me to my heart, I guess, and my spirit are being around horses and dolphins. I ended up staying in a place next to Jekyll Island um, on an Airbnb and I drove down their road where I stayed in the house and they literally had horses on their property and then I would drive over to the to the uh, island and be on the beach and see my dolphins. So I would see my horses and my dolphins all in the same day and oh my gosh that was awesome. I think that's why I love little Cumberland Island because the wild horses in Georgia um, are on there and it's just, it's stunning. So in the face of the bear, I am gonna integrate in this brown. And I'm not making any of, I'm basically not making any of the big triangle areas black because I have lines that go in between so the lines are already there and all you have to do is the black in between it. Okay. And if you're if you want to do a barn quilt and you want to put it on your house but you're not exactly sure what type of style that you want and you live local to Hickory or the Charlotte area, I have almost all the quilts here on my property, unless I have sold them. Um, I donated Tranquility, um, but I've sold like the Cardinal and the Wave the Flag, and I just haven't painted replacements. So you might not be able to see those. But I actually have a, a whole family of the barn quilts that I originally painted for the designs on Go Find Your Happy or Barn Quilts USA, um, which will allow you to get a nice feel for like maybe what, what you like. Because sometimes you might look at it and go, I don't know, I don't know what I like. And let's just say that it's summertime and you're tired of being cooped up after this last year and you're like, you know what, I want to do a day trip and, and come paint with Trish for a morning, okay? Um, you just message me, and we can talk about what you want to do. And I have a little outdoor porta potty, so, because we're like tent camping, okay? Um, but what we can do is you can come and spend the morning with me, and we can paint together, just the two of us. And if you want to stay overnight, I can recommend, you know, an inexpensive hotel within 15 minutes from me. So it would be really easy. So you could just drive. So if you're from Kentucky and you want to come and spend the weekend with me um, and do something, then, you know, we can spend a Saturday together or, or whatever. Um, and if you want to know a little bit more about me, please go to unstoppablewarrior.com because you can see some of the therapeutic and healing work that I do um, in my in coaching, okay? Because I'm a therapeutic life uh, coach. 
I am a mindset and vision and focus coach. Um, I also have extreme amount of hours in business development and strategy. Um, but this phase of my life, I want to help you pull it all together. So if you come to see me and you want to go and you want to kind of just replenish your heart and your spirit, then I encourage you to reach out to me and uh, we can turn, we, we can make it whatever it is. I, I'm not, I, I kind of stutter at this because I think um, God will speak into your spirit um, about you need to reach out to Trisha and see where it leads, okay? And I know that we'll get back to doing bigger, bigger workshops. But for now, with my health, I think this is a wonderful, and I'm not contagious. Again, I want to say I have fibromyalgia, so it's not contagious. <laughs> but what, it, what this will allow me to do is not overstress my muscles and my nerves, okay? doing something just a little bit different to his face here. I'm actually doing the black over the outline. I didn't do that on the other. Oh yeah, maybe I did a little bit. Okay. And um, let's bring that metallic, let's bring that metallic red in. Here. And I just decided to bring the metallic in on all three of those pieces. So there we go. Now it doesn't feel complete to me because usually what I do is I paint the background first and then I go in for the animal because it just sets the theme. But today um, when I was with... Um, my lady, we were working specifically on color swatches. So that's why um, I focused on the bear first instead of the other parts of the design. Look how, I mean, can you hear how beautiful it sounds out here? It's awesome. It's such a beautiful day. That's why I wanted to let you know that I do one-on-ones in art teaching you. And the thing about doing this, and if you want to do one-on-one -on -one with me, is that it's just a great spiritual journey. Um, I can't explain it, but when we sit here together and I take you through some breathing and letting go and just tuning in to all of what God gives us. Um, it's really a... Um, you know, I can't promise that, how God shows up. But it is like a supernatural experience. Um, and I don't know if Dale is still watching or not. Probably not. But he can tell you about the supernatural when Molly met me, so... And 
and I'm just going around the tail a little bit. There we go. Now what I'll do is I'll go back over areas of the black and the reds and so forth. But right now what I'm gonna focus on is the background. A lot of times I'll use a cool blue, which is really, really pretty. It looks like this right here, this cool blue. It's actually called morning blue if you decide to shop at Hobby Lobby, okay? But today, I'm gonna use what's called pool blue. It's not as dark as royal, but it's a really pretty light blue, but just a little bit darker than the morning blue that I use. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change brushes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just focus on the interior of this bear. And what I would love to know is what animal would you love to see on a piece of wood that you could paint like this? Maybe I could create it. I remember last year a woman asking about the flamingo and I didn't have it, but this year I do. So it's from your feedback that allows me to know where I can focus on getting something made. Because if you want something for an animal, right? Here's what's gonna happen. There's someone else like you that really wants the same animal. So what it does is it inspires me to create multiple animal patterns for you. If you're not sure about wood, painting on wood, um, I have a coloring book that's going to be coming out that's going to have some of these designs integrated through. And the benefit of that is, is that you can use pencils to come up with your color themes and swatches. And I also am gonna have a barn quilt graph book coming out where I design them and I teach some of the designs. I'm constantly creating resources, teaching materials for you. And if you're curious a little bit more about the teaching and so forth of different types of art, just go to joinhappytribe.com and that will put you on a wait list for me just to send an invitation to you when I open my doors. I had planned on opening my doors May 3rd and then I um, got a little bit more sick and so I had to basically kind of stop and take um, take rest. My property is known as Stillness for the Soul Retreat. I don't know if it's really, I really like Sanctuary because it's like just totally my, you know, my sanctuary <laughs> where I can just pray, I can write, I can just sit, I can be still. I can just listen. So that blue ran over his foot just a little bit, but it's okay because I'll come back with the touch-ups and it will cover that. 
So for those of y'all who have said, I'm worried about not having a steady finger or hand to paint, I totally get you. Um, the fibromyalgia has impacted my arm at times where my arm feels so weak, I don't feel like even holding a pencil. So I hope that does not continue. I'm taking victory that I will be healed of that. I'm sharing that though because I want to encourage you that even if you have arthritis or you have something that's challenging you're like, I, I don't know if I can keep a straight line, Tricia. The craft paint dries fast and you can paint over it, okay? I had really liked teaching um, evening classes online, like, you know, um, for free or like showcasing my videos. But I'm realizing that I'm having to do them more in the day and then just upload them so you can watch them on your time. So I got myself in this belief only people can watch at night. And the thing is, is there's people who work different shifts. They might work first shift, second shift, third shift. So why not just have it available and then um, you watch it. And what I love is when you do a hashtag replay or even if you comment that you watched it as a replay, it allows me to know if my videos are being seen, if you think they're valuable, helpful, they're fun for you. All that good stuff. There we go. Very cool. Very, very cool. I'm just going to have this, just kind of swoop this a little bit more. So as I look at this, um, and, and the blue will, will be drying, I may change a couple of these to the dominant red. And I may in, integrate in... Um, the metallic brown that I was telling you guys about. 
Of course, you can tell me what you think of the colors. What's interesting is as the metallic red has dried, it's almost like a rust. Not a rust, it's more of a copper. It's like a coppery red. So. I'm not sure if I'm totally in love with the bear yet. with that in mind, I will drop off for a little bit and I hope you enjoyed this session and it's a lot of fun. I hope you can get one. It's on gofindyourhappy.com if you want to get a barn quilt. All right, big hugs. Go find your happy.